Hi guys, it's Karen from Art by Karen E. Haley. I'm here with another drawing. I know I haven't been uploading a lot of stuff lately. Um, I've been kind of lazy, and I wanted to apologize for that. Um, so this drawing is a picture that I'm doing for my friend as an art trade. Um, she's my roommate. Uh, basically, it's a drawing of her and her Arcanine um, stitches. And before you guys comment saying, oh, you didn't draw in his stripes, I'm going to be adding those in when I color. Um, because I didn't want them to have an outline. So, just so you know, before you start going, Arcanines have stripes, I already know that. Anyway, and if I'm saying Arcanine the wrong way, you can deal with it, because it's just a word. Anyways, um, so basically this whole drawing uh, winds up getting extremely detailed. Um, I wanted it to be uh, something I put a lot of work into, because I haven't been doing a lot of drawing lately, and uh, I just wanted to put a lot of effort into this one in particular, especially since um, my friend's Arcanine is really, really hairy. Like, she draws them even fuzzier than the way that they are in the show or in the um, game, I suppose. So I wanted him to be really, really fluffy, kind of like a big lion <laughs> or a big chow dog. Um, so you'll be seeing me do a lot of hair, a lot of fur, and uh, a lot of fluff in this picture. So it's a lot of repetitive stuff. Um, but I really do like this drawing. I mean, I worked really hard on it, and I did wind up having a few... Um, mistakes, a few things that happened that were very unfortunate, like, uh, while I was working on this, um, with my, with this ink pen, the 0 0.03 multiliner, um, that multiliner actually started leaking all over my hand, and it got everywhere, and it even got under my nails in a few spots, so, like, it just looks pretty bad, and then my, um, I mean, you can't really tell because a lot of it happens off of the screen, and I think it's because it got really hot in my house, um, while I was working on this, and the warmth from my hand probably made the ink expand even more, so that marker, I mean, that ink pen started to leak pretty bad, and then the tip got clogged, so I couldn't use it anymore, so I had to switch to a dip pen. Um, which you'll see later on in the video. Uh, and here I'm using, I think, um, no, yeah, that's what I'm like, oh no, it's starting to leak. So I, I kept trying to, um, get it to keep working and it just would not stay working. So I switched to my, uh, 0 0.01, I think. And then, um, and then I decided that I wanted to try using a dip pen, which is really fun, and it made it uh, look a lot more organic, I suppose. Um, there's a lot of detail in this picture because I used the crow quills, which are very tiny, detailed um, nibs that map makers used to use. Um, but <laughs> the ink I used was very, very runny. Uh, it's a very fancy type of ink, and um, it's called like the Dr. P.H. Martin's Bombay India ink, and I used black. And it's permanent, and it's watercolor, or it's waterproof, so it should be Copic proof, but uh, it's not Copic proof on this certain type of paper that I use, which is kind of bad because I mean, I put a lot of detail into this, so I scanned the line art, and I'm going to be coloring the um, toner ink print of it. And I think I might do a few different colored versions of this, one um, in sepia and one in color. Um, I'm not totally sure. I'll probably only do color, and then if I feel like I should do a sepia tone, I'll do a sepia also. But, um... Anyway, so 
not only is this ink not water or not Copic proof, um, it also happened to be very difficult to use um, because my paper has a linen texture to it, so it gets kind of this it it catches on the nib of my ink pen, and um, it really stretched the ink pen slots apart. Okay, so like an an ink pen nib is basically a little curved piece of metal that's cut into a point and then the point is has a slit in it that's very very narrow um but as you use the pen those that slit kind of opens up and this paper really um <laughs> opened up that little slot and it kind of made the nib not as detailed as it usually is so I had to buy a new one, <laughs> um, which kind of sucks a lot. And uh, it's this uh, nib also started to get drippy, so it did drip on the tail of Arcanine uh, right around near his rump, um, which you don't see yet, but it does happen. It's not on screen. It happens uh, as I'm passing the pen over the tail off of the screen over to draw like on his face or something and so you don't see it um, in screen and then I color over it with some white gel pen so the print you can't see it but it just oh it ruined my day <laughs> um, and also right after that happened the inkwell got knocked over and it destroyed that pretty tablecloth that you see there which kinda sucks because I really liked that tablecloth I got it at Target um, it was on clearance it was a nice tablecloth and I really am very unhappy that I decided to do artwork on the table but at the time I didn't have my art desk with me so I just wanted to work downstairs uh, also, upstairs gets really hot since it's the summertime. Um, so yeah, that tablecloth is now garbage because it got all over it, like like a huge spot of black ink just got all over that poor tablecloth. So yeah, and it stained my table too, which sucks because it's an antique table that was my grandparents, and then. Uh, and before that, it was somebody else's, like, their parents. So, yeah. But anyway, right where I'm drawing around um, is where the ink dropped. Um, you can kind of see the gel pen smear. Uh, so I, I wanted to have not that much hair detail on the tail, but when that happened, I decided I might as well put a lot of fur detail in to kind of cover it up. And while it does cover it up, I'm worried that when I go to color it, it just won't look as nice and light as the um, character's tail should look because, you know, Arcanine has like almost a yellowy beige color to his detail fur, like the really fluffy parts of his fur, so I'm not too happy about that, but oh well. And then this ivy that I'm drawing right now really kind of irritated me. Like, normally I really like to draw foliage, but it just was giving me troubles. <sighs> so I kept, like, switching from working on the ivy to going over and drawing on other parts. And I know that I draw very randomly. You don't have to point it out to me. <laughs> um... I don't like to draw in order all that much, um, and I shouldn't have zoomed in that close, so that was really bad. Um, so I guess I'm really not talking about anything important, so sorry about that. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> mm. Oh, and so if you can't tell really what's going on in the picture because it's too freaking bright. <laughs> um, basically the Arcanine is sitting on a log, or he's laying on a log, kind of like inspired from the Lion King. Um, 
over a little creek, and his trainer, my friend Aaron, is seated on seated on his back, and she's like stretching his jowls out because, you know, Arcane kind of looks angry. Um, on all of the cards. So I'm always like, Arcanine needs to smile more, and so like, I kept trying to draw him smiling when I was sketching the picture, and I just couldn't do it, and I was like, you know what would be funny is if she was stretching his face out, so I just wanted to draw something kind of humorous. Um, and you'll see that a little bit more once I color it, because the ink, the ink outlines in this picture I really kind of wanted to keep at a minimum in terms of, uh details on the characters themselves. I wanted to go more for the inking on the background because I want to color the background kind of the same bluish green tone maybe and make the characters stand out because um, Arcanine is going to be of course orange and black with yellow detail and then she is a human so she's gonna have you know a PG skin tone and um, it'll just help them stand out a little more. So, uh, anyway, if you guys haven't entered the contest yet, I hope you guys do. Um, this is the finished line art, and if you want to buy a line art from me, let me know. I can get you one. It depends on what size you want, so obviously let me know what size you want, and I will tell you how much that will be. Uh, I hope you enter the contest. Like I said before, it ends on October 31st, and I will see you guys later!